So these sequences are used in the context of the spread of a disease that a health profession might be monitoring, or a government. In week one, one person infected, week two, 11, week three, 43, week four, 109. See the modeling disease activity for more ac um, mathematics on this topic. And our aim is to work out what the function is that describes the spread of this disease so we can predict where it's going in the future, how many will be infected. This spreadsheet, you can only edit the yellow boxes. All the rest is automatically calculated by the formula that's there. So when you enter each of the sequences of the 12 sequences from the applet that's just above, it automatically calculates the first difference. If that's constant, it's a linear. The second difference, if that's constant, it's a quadratic. And the third difference, if that's constant, we know we've got a cubic function, which is the case here because it's constant. For cubic functions, I won't explain why that's a challenge for you to investigate. It, you divide the constant difference, the third constant difference, by 6, and that will give you the cubic coefficient. So in that, this case, that's 2. This row then automatically generates 2n cubed. The grey rows show you the difference between your current model's predictions and the actual numbers. So 686 is 55 too much, 432 is 41 more than 391. At the bottom is your current model's predictions. So we've currently got a 2n cubed model. On these grey rows underneath it, if you've missed it, if we're off, then it automatically calculates the first and second differences again so that we can find the n squared part of the formula or the n part of the formula. Well, the second difference is constant, so there is an n squared term. If there, if there, if there weren't, if the second difference was zero, you'd just enter a zero here. But there is, and for the quadratic coefficient, the power of two, it's always half the second difference if the second difference is constant. Half of minus two, minus one. So again, this, the next grey row shows me the difference between my current model, shown at the bottom, 2n cubed minus n squared, and the actual data. So my current model's predictions, 1, 12, 45, 112, are actually off the actual data by 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Ah, this is a linear sequence now, because we can see the first difference is constant. And the linear sequence is, whatever the first difference is, is the times table we're in. That makes sense, that's what a times table is. Four times table means add four every time. Minus one times table means take one every time. Okay, so now our model is 2n cubed minus n squared minus n. Here's the predictions figures for that model in the first week zero infected, in the second week 10. How does that differ from the actual red? Well, that's shown in the last gray column. We're all off by one. So finally, we just need to add one to all of that. And we can see at the bottom our 2n cubed minus n squared minus n plus 1 model is exactly right. You can only enter the yellow, all the rest is protected. That's the activity, best of luck. Sometimes it will be an n squared, sometimes it will be a linear, sometimes it will be a cube, cubic. And you may get an extension, y is the third difference divided by 6, the coefficient of uh, the n cubed term. And y is the second difference divided by 2, the coefficient of the quadratic term if those differences are constant. Challenge question.